Been out of jail a lot, been on probation. It's easy to send somebody to prison. Prison's easy, we can all do time. The big thing is trying to correct the problem. I grew up on the front range of Denver, uh, pretty much in central Denver. And then I've been on the western slope for 20 years now. I'm the district attorney for the 21st Judicial District of Colorado. Our ethical duty is to seek justice. It's to try to do the right thing on every case. It's why I became a prosecutor. It's why prosecution's all I've ever done. But for term limits, it's all I'd ever do. What we saw in this community was a, a kind of rising tide of methamphetamine abuse from the, the late 90s into the early 2000s. Sort of the conventional wisdom at that point uh, was that there's nothing you can do with methamphetamine addicts except uh, lock them up. That's what I was told and I accepted it and prosecuted the cases the way I was told to. We see in Arapahoe County the common thread to criminal behavior that results in victimization of our community. The common thread is addiction. Substance addiction can dramatically alter uh, the way people think, what's important to them, and the way they behave. Overall, about 85% of the population in prison have some history of substance abuse, substance addiction. The recidivism is appalling. 55 out of every 100 inmates that leave the facilities within three years are back in that facility. That's not a very effective uh, way to conduct the business of the people. It didn't matter how tough on crime we were being and how zero tolerance we were being, we were still seeing more and more and more felony cases every year. 2005, my first full year in office, was the absolute most uh, felony cases ever in the history of this jurisdiction. The Board of Commissioners were looking at a situation in 2005 where they were either going to have to build a new pod to the Mesa County Jail because of the explosion of crime numbers across the board. A new pod was going to cost about six million dollars or we could look at some kind of lockdown methamphetamine treatment facility that would cost about three million dollars. And it's counterintuitive to a career prosecutor like me. We're kind of brought up to think my job is to lock people up. That That's not exactly what seeking justice means but that is sort of it's certainly the conventional wisdom in uh, the popular eye. My thinking was, there's got to be a better way. We designed a model around evidence-based principles and practices. Everything had to be proven to work in changing addictive behavior. Uh, we've been in operation since 2007. The difference with funding an inpatient kind of a treatment center is that you have a way of addressing some of those problems and getting them to be more productive members back out to the community. I was ready for life and to take it head on and said just you know, hiding from things with drugs. and This program's definitely saved my life. I would have ended up dead. When you go from 2,200 cases in 2005 to less than 1,500 in 2011, I think it's pretty clear that it had a huge impact and it is by far the biggest single reason that um, our crime rates have gone down so drastically. Here we are in 2013, eight, nine years later, and we still haven't built a new pod to the Mesa County Jail. I think Mesa County inspired reforms that we could look at and take statewide. That was part of the whole conversation, was to say, let's talk about trying something different. CCJJ is the Colorado Commission on Criminal and Juvenile Justice. It was set up by legislation in 2007. And the commission makes recommendations to the legislature in the form of a bill. It's a 26-member group of folks from a diverse range of perspectives that's brought together simply to really look deeply at what's working and what's not working in criminal justice. And it is not based on ideology, it's based on evidence. I think the value of it is, is evident by the number of bills that the CCJJ has approved and gotten enacted. In 2010, there was legislation that reduced penalties for certain possession offenses and reinvested the savings and corrections into treatment. And then in 2012, there was legislation that pulled together all of those various funding silos for treatment into a consolidated fund. I think people are seeing the outcomes moving in the right direction. So in 2013, uh, we want to continue to build on those accomplishments and pass the recommendations approved by the CCJJ. Which is a more comprehensive rewrite of the whole Controlled Substance Act. The legislation reduces sentences for drug users and low-level dealers. 
It uses the savings to fund more treatment to stop the cycle of crime, and it provides for an enormous amount of data collection so we can see the impact of these reforms. It is an evidence-based bill that takes what works in drug sentencing policy, what works in drug treatment, and it, and it codifies that and brings that to Colorado. It allows legislators to be able to go back to their communities and, and say we're actually not only improving our communities and society, but we are actually making people safer. Whether in conservative Mesa County or liberal Boulder County. My job is protecting society as a whole, and if I can eliminate crimes in the future um, by providing treatment now, I think that's the responsible thing to do, and that's consistent with my duty to seek justice.